This is DMG and welcome to DMG's lab, the very first episode where we do all kinds of crazy experiments and success or fail, you'll see what happens. So let's get on with it. Okay, so a water experiment. So this is for making waters for terrain and things like that, uh, something that will be solid. Uh, so we're going to get uh, 200 milliliters of water and 200 milliliters of glycerin. All right, that conveniently this um, little bottle is 200 milliliters and 50 grams of gelatin. It's preferable to have clear and unflavored gelatin. So don't get like raspberry and all that kind of stuff. It must be clear and unflavored. You can also get gelatin powder, which is basically comes in larger quantities. It's just, I use the sachets because it's easier to measure them out. So that to pour the 200 milliliters of water into a uh, pan saucepan and uh, get a, um, a lollipop stick to stir and then start adding the gelatin. So each one of these sachets is 10 grams. So that's 10, this is 20. So you see, always check the box that you buy as to how much there is in grams. You can just divide by the number of sachets to give you an idea of how much each sachet has in it. So continue to add. So that's three, this is four, and one more. So that's five, so 50 grams of gelatin. And then we just start stirring with the popsicle stick. Now, um, it will look quite muddy, this um, solution. Um, and it will be a sort of yellowy tan, uh, maybe a slightly orangey color. Um, that's the gelatin itself. Um, that's going to be the color of the stuff. Now, if you wanted to, you could add in some colorants at this point to, um, to uh, colorize it a little bit more, maybe a hint of blue water color or maybe some dye, um, and that would um, color it up for you. Um, just in later stages obviously when we're doing things just think about reactions so you need to just keep stirring this and keep stirring this and keep stirring this for several minutes so this could take up to 10-15 minutes to do it depends on how the reaction is going relative humidity etc um, and it's going to become like a thick soupy sludge so you can see here there's quite a bit sticking to the to the popsicle stick now this is sped up 5,000 times so you can see the gelatin bloom. Once it has bloomed, uh, then we're going to start mixing it again, just briefly. So you can see it's become the consistency of porridge. Um, and we'll mix that up just to aerate it a little bit. So it'll look like it's going a little bit whiter. It's just air bubbles forming inside. And into that, we are now going to pour the gelatin. So you can see that the popsicle stick is remaining standing up. That gives you an idea of how um, consistent this is, the, sorry, the consistency of it. And now we're going to add in the 200 mils of gelatin. Okay, so that's that whole bottle. And then we're going to start to stir that again, just to get a good mix. So this doesn't take very long. It's just a matter of mixing the two together so they're not separate. And again, this is going to be quite a thick porridgey goop. So you've now got about 400 to 420 milliliters of stuff. Onto this, we're going to go a low heat on the stove. So uh, using gas or electric doesn't really matter so long as it's a very low heat. And we're going to put the pot on there and continue to stir the entire time. Don't stop stirring. Now you don't want it to boil and you don't want it to simmer. You just want it to warm up so that um, the gelatin effectively dissolves into the glycerin and the water um, to form the magic mixture. So. Um, don't, don't let it boil, don't let it bubble. So you can see this is essentially once you um, finish that process, it'll look like this. Um, you'll have these bubbles on the top and it will be clear through to the bottom. You can see the scratches on the bottom of the pan there through it. So it goes from that sort of muddy look down to a clear a resin type um, jelly. Um, now I've sped this up about 5,000 times again uh, as this begins to cure. Uh, after about 20 or 30 minutes, 
this is still its state here and what I do then is just try and move some of the bubbles off you can scoop them out with a spoon or something just so that I can show you the consistency of it when it's finished I'm just going to scoop them into a corner with the popsicle stick so just maneuver all those you can see they're they're not really popping very easily those bubbles that are actually remaining as a as a sort of a film and um, so that's important now after a about an hour or so probably even more it will solidify totally so it will um, be bouncy to the touch uh, you won't be able to push your foot you might be able to push your finger into it but it will be quite solid um, and then I'm just pushing the um, popsicle stick around the edge to get it out it will maintain the shape of what it was poured into um, so you can actually make molds from it use it as a um, to, to mold specific things um, and uh, it will keep for quite a while so uh, this was done several months ago and this material is still perfectly fine in the shape that it was um, and uh, as you can see the the foam is, is still the way it would have been and the um, if you just did a seal it with a bit of PVA and water mixture it would probably maintain that for a long time so you can actually use this to do foam effects as well and as you can see I'm pushing my fingers into it and um, it wasn't breaking however it does tear relatively easily so as you can see um, but the tears are pretty clean so you get a nice clean edge to any cut or tear that you that you put through this um, so it does maintain its shape very well um, it doesn't really um, liquefy unless heat is applied to it so you can actually reheat this material um, so you know this is an experiment I've done and I actually reuse this put it into the microwave just blast it for 30 seconds take it out stir a little bit blast it for 30 seconds until it becomes a liquid again and then you can just pour it into whatever and reuse it now if you want to resist mold and things like that you can add about a teaspoon of citric acid to the original mix with gelatin and that will um, give it some lemon flavor okay so that was water effects so that's a great cheap little way to do lakes and rivers and, and all that kind of stuff you just need to have something for that to set in and it work beautifully now you can go out and buy terrain products that do these things uh, but they are very expensive and this is a nice and cheap way of getting a similar sort of effect and not breaking the bank in fact you could probably steal half the stuff from the kitchen just don't tell the missus or if you are the missus don't tell the person who cooks and if you are the missus who cooks then you have no problem so if you like this video like button thank you for your subscription to this channel and i'll see you in the next dmg's lab like the heisenberg of terrain building